Hello everybody and welcome back to another Starfield video. Today we're going to go around and look at the newest update which is added creations and mods. Finally, they are here on Xbox. So we're going to go ahead and look at it and I'm going to tell you and show you everything you need to know about creations and mods. So we're going to pretty much get right into this. So obviously, if you like this and you want to see more Starfield, like, subscribe, comment, share all that good jazz, and let's get into it. So here you will see Creations is a new option on your main menu. So go ahead and select it. Now you'll be opening into this menu. It'll look like this or similar depending on how many new mods come out and all of that. So there is a huge selection here to choose from. And we're going to look at it because some will cost real money, some are free, some are made by Bethesda themselves, and some are not. So let's get looking into it. So as you can see, some of these have a little vault logo, or more commonly just referred to as Bethesda's logo. That logo on a mod or creation or anything means that Bethesda themselves made this. The ones that Bethesda makes are fully compatible with the real game. There should be no problems with installing them and using them. But others, as you may see, could have a blue check mark on them. A blue check mark means that they are made by a verified creator. A verified creator is just somebody that has put time and time again good mods out that are always working perfectly and Bethesda has accepted them into their own verified creator program. So anything with a blue check mark, you can almost guarantee pretty much a 99% guarantee that it is going to be a good mod, smooth working and everything of that sort. Now, as you may see, some mods have a lightning symbol with a number and some mods do not. Mods that do require you to spend real money on it. Little points, creation points, if you will. You have to buy them, obviously, using real money on the Xbox store or whatever platform store you use. So, as you can see in the top right, if you are a premium edition owner, you've bought the Constellation Edition or you have bought the Digital Premium Edition or Upgrade, you will be given a 1000 to spend on anything you would like. So... You can go ahead and spend that as much as you want. Obviously, 1000 so use it as you will. So with all of that, as you can see, there are also ones that do not have a lightning symbol and with a number. That means that it is free. You can download and install it with no repercussions. It is completely fair game to you, and you can use it at your own will. Now, I will say that this is a very well-made system. Now, I wasn't a fan when games like Elder Scrolls got it and whatnot. But I gotta I gotta admit, it's pretty clean for Starfield, especially with just it being new. And as you can see on left trigger, I believe it is, on Xbox, that you will be able to go ahead and kind of categorize which mods you want to look at by category, or if you want to look by just ones made by Bethesda and whatnot. Very clean system. As you can see, they have six ones here, six mods, six creations, whatever you want to call them, made by Bethesda to start. As you can see, there are so many to choose from. You can look at the latest mods. Here are all the newest ones that came out that you can look at, maybe pick some up, put some in, play with them. Who knows? They could be cool. They could not be cool. That's the cool thing about mods is obviously you get to make your very own experience with it. So obviously that's not the only thing there is. There's so many other categories from for you to choose from. And with that being said, there's also so many mods for you to choose from. I mean, there's stuff like gameplay, quest, skins, uh, gear. There is just so much for you to choose from and to look through and it's a very clean system and there is still a good portion of free mods as alongside paid mods or paid creations so overall it's a pretty good system so with that being said there is some amazing things here in the store and sadly, not all of them are going to be free. There are some that are amazing, look amazing, sound amazing, are amazing. But sadly, they will cost money. Now, prices, I will say, are very decent. Uh, there's, they're not horrible. Uh, depends. Uh, right now, I would say every paid mod is 
fairly cheap, especially if you're just looking to get one, you know, buy one and call it a day. But if you want to get a good portion of them, it could start to get pretty pricey. So we're going to go ahead and look at the prices here in just a second. But I do got to say that this is a very new thing to Starfield. So I'm curious to see how expensive some of these mods will get. Like if they start going up to like 2000 plus, you know, creation credits, we might start having to have a talk with us. No, but I'm just kidding. But in all seriousness, as long as the prices stay fairly low, everything should be fine. But let's look at the prices. So here are the Xbox store listings. So the, these may vary, obviously, if you don't use USA dollars, or if you're not on Xbox, maybe different platforms have different options. I'm not sure. I'm an Xbox only player. But as you can see, you can buy as low as 500 creation credits for $5. Now, that's not that bad, right? But there is also other options. You can buy a thousand for ten dollars. You can buy even more than that, like fifty dollars for fifty five hundred. And obviously, there is another option that you can get twenty seven hundred, and as you can see, the price. So prices are not that bad. Like I said, if there is a good size thing, like a good almost expansion type size mod that's only five dollars, that's not bad. If it's five hundred, you know, it's worth the price for some of them. And with that being said, here is your load order. And you may realize something a little bit different. Look in the bottom left at how much space is used. You will notice that you have 100 gigabytes of space to use in your load order for Starfield. Now, if my memory serves correctly, Elder Scrolls V Skyrim and Fallout 4 only allow you to have 2 gigabytes. So... There is a very drastic difference between how many mods you can have in Starfield as opposed to Fallout 4 and Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. And that's a pretty drastic change because you will be able to mod Starfield to a point where it is an entirely different game. And not that I'm complaining because that is amazing, but holy cow, will there be some crazy mods that'll come out and imagine having them all Starfield will be like an entirely different game, so much to do that you'll never want to put down the controller. I cannot wait to see, even a month from now, what there will be. So with all of that being said, that is it. I hope you guys like this. It's a quick, easy little thing you need to know about everything from 100 gigabyte space to the prices for creation credits to what all the symbols mean. The blue check marks, vault logo or Bethesda logo and the lightning with the numbers. So I hope this all helped you. If it did, like the video, subscribe, comment, share, all that good jazz because we're going to start pumping out some mod videos here. So hopefully you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. And as always, I will see you in the star field.